we're going to talk about... Hello. <laughs> you got a horse the high. <laughs> He's so high. Well, hello, our friends out there. We want to talk to you today, is it okay if I talk now, <laughs> about how simple carnivore is. Like the unexpected side effect? Benefit? Benefit of... I'm well, it's side effect, but I, 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 I just threw out a word. Okay. Like, like when hello. When we first started... <laughs> oh my God. Hello. Sorry. He gets on to me because I'm not friendly enough. I feel like my smile says it all. It does. Okay. It thank does. You. It thank does. You. So... When we first started and we were like, okay, we're just eating meat. And we're like, okay, what are all the meats we know? And like, oh, we're I making know. a list of I, every I'm single, go. is this a meat? Is duck, is venison, is, you know, I don't know, pork. And lamb, chicken and buffalo. Lamb and, right, uh, yeah, every all kind of stuff. meat. Because we got to have a lot, a lot, a lot of a variety. variety. Like, what are we going to do? We're going to get bored. We are so, so seven months and seven and a half months in. Yep. We are so not bored. No. We're just not obsessed with food anymore. Like, I love our food. Not apathy, but a little indifference. It's like, eh. Well, I can count on how I'm going to feel when I eat mm -hmm. my burgers, In my steak. Indifference to all the stuff that's out there. Yeah. It's like, eh. Going to the matter. store. Like, he goes to the store most of the time now. Like, I was the grocery shopper of the family forever. Almost 20 years. And all of a sudden. It's pretty straightforward now. Just, yeah. You can get or, in and out of Sam's or in 10 minutes. when I used to go to Sam's, it would be a problem because Ugh. she'd spend three hundred, I'd spend six or seven, and then it would be Texas cinnamon rolls. It would be all the stuff that like the kids would be so in case excited. Somebody wanted a beer. We didn't even drink out. the beer. Right. You're like, well, oh, well, then might well, might well want they beer. Beer. might want this flavor well, this and that like flavor. A cool and, holiday edition. And then it just every it just load up. And now it's just so simple. And we've really simplified. Like we don't cater to our non-carnivore like kids and stuff. We're like, if you if we're if you're eating here and, and you, you want something non-carnivore, bring it. But we'll feed you the, you know, the we'll high end what, stuff. We'll yeah. do the steaks and the burgers and the like you just you bring your carby sides if you want and no judgment. No. But we just keep it super simple. That's what we keep in the house. And they're super good with that. And I don't ever have to clean out my fridge. There's never any rotting <laughs> There's nothing vegetables in there. in the very back. <laughs> There's empty. never any like, like, you know, melting fruit. Like, because we always, I mean, I'm not going to waste bacon. Mm, I'm not going to buy a steak and forget to eat it. Like it's right there. So our fridge always stays clean. We don't, I don't worry. Like, oh my God, my worst thing about being an adult, seriously, was trying to plan what to eat for food. Like, what are we going to have for dinner? And it had to be a different cuisine and it had to be, you know, you had to, you had to, I don't know, stimulate your palate, I guess. What was, was that what we well, were doing? Well, it was like, what's the entertainment going to be? I guess so. What's, it was about, what's our journey, our adventure we're going to take, so to speak, a little right. bit. Right. Everything revolves so much around food and it feels super awesome. I would say our food does its work for us now. We don't, hmm. we're not a slave to the food. The food feeds and nourishes us and it's just extreme it's a straightforward relationship yeah. well, it used was, to be very fraught you know i was watching saying? a video from carrie um, with homestead how and he Which was talk now called healing humanity oh yes that is true the power of the human, human diet, diet. <laughs> check him out if you haven't which oh, yeah. you probably have if, if you, you know about us you know about yeah, him yeah. pretty much but anyway he was talking about that supermarkets have up to sixty thousand items and so i'm like I'm like 60,000 choices of food. So I Googled it because I was kind of curious, you know, how much was food? How much was this? I said, how many food items? And they said 40 to 60,000 food items. And even in the nineties, that's, that, that's 40,000 more on average that a supermarket would have than in the nineties. So it's just, it's gone from like 20 to 60,000 items. They just keep increasing all the things that they can manufacture and produce. And he's like, I ate three or four items out there. And we're like, if we count coffee and butter and eggs and sausage and bacon, we're we figured up we're like at ten or eleven. So and you kind of find what you really like, and we've like picked our favorites as a mm -hmm. couple, and and it just we just get that over and over. And if we get bored, we'll change up how we do something, but it's not boring in the same way. I think it's really because the food is nourishing. Right. Us. You're satisfied. So, so you just don't you care as much. you want to eat it again. When food well, I mean, you don't care. You don't have this, oh, let's go let's have a special meal. Else. And I don't want to go out to eat. Like if it, it, if I could find a place that was reasonable cost, it, it is doesn't have any more. Right. It's, 
and could give the quality that we do at home. Okay, sure. That but is going to be strictly reserved for like an emergency <laughs> or, or a social or event. Social event. Mm -hmm. And those, I accept the social events. Those are fine. Of course. We can work with that. You know, and if we see, if it doesn't feel like it's going to fit, we'll just, we'll just have some, some water or something, you know, and visit. And I'm running some numbers, doing some tax stuff for the business lately. Oh, and yeah. I'm looking at, I started with January of, of 23. Oh, before, I didn't thought about that. Before we did carnivore. And it's like restaurant, 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 groceries, groceries, restaurant, snacks. I'm like, whoa. So I'll do the numbers and then we'll do a video next time of like Oof. how Oof, much less. Well, I knew we spend literally like bottom line. I will run the data. Well, and it's even like passing the liquor store with no tequila. Oh, I know. Or when we, we would go out of town to Kansas City and uh, there's this like Lucas Liquor Superstore. It's this giant place <laughs> that used to be a Walmart. It's like as big as Walmart. I yeah. think it used to be Probably. Walmart. I think it was an old one. But and it's all dust full, alcohol. And, and great deals on everything so we if we went up there every if we had the money we'd stock up shopping, on good tequila cart, different things overall but yeah I haven't bought a single bottle since no. last year i mean there's still some good stuff setting up there when the day comes that i have a little something again but yeah hmm, so don't know so that's the simplicity of it is hard to put into words if you are coming from the perspective we were previously which is couldn't even fathom it. That you just have to have variety. You've got to have color on your plate. You've got to have different cuisines through the week. You've got to have all this stuff, this mental gymnastics to make yourself feel satisfied and satiated. And we're just simply finding that to well, not be true at all. And we even switched our dogs to carnivore and we just oh. weighed them again. And they've all lost about two pounds each. Which right. Is, they and they were, look better. They were getting they're between 50 and 60 pounds. And they all, I think they just, yeah, they yeah. lost. Extra. couple pounds and they get more food than they used to mm -hmm. and so they're utilizing i mean better. i think i think they act better and I, but i don't I know for sure after them i flush the doggy toilet as i say <laughs> and there's not as much waste I'm just so which is interesting and and they they never get bored <laughs> well some of the old food we'd try to just put some like i'd spray ready whip ready whip on on the food or we try to get something to some, get them to eat um, it. um what was the oil stuff we'd put in Coconut oil. Coconut oil. Or and they, salmon and oil you know, my dog in particular would look at the bowl and slap it and flip it over. <laughs> and at first like, I thought, what yeah. a jerk. And, and and she and then she'd look at me and it was like, I don't like this. <laughs> and it, it, I was like, wow, how cool. She's telling me that never happens anymore. Now if the bowl's empty, she might slap it and look at me because she but wants she's more. hungry. Yeah. And so that's that's even interesting to think about. And there was a the simplicity dogs. there because I used to worry and try to give them different flavors and variety to get them to eat. And it's like they just needed more meat. Yep. And, and they, now they're fine. Yeah. And it's fine every single time. It's been this way for months. So simplicity. It's, it frees up mental space to enjoy other parts of life that aren't so food related. So we recommend it. Yeah. So there. Have a good one. <laughs>